VentOS was a, a ventilator firmware uh, project that was started by Dr. Eric Schultz, uh, who wrote a comprehensive guide on ventilators for engineers, which you've probably all read. Uh, and shortly after that, Dr. Robert Reed, the president and founder of Public Invention joined and, and I joined shortly after that. Um, and since then, we've main, maintained a small and consistent team of volunteers, and we now have nine members who meet every week, which is really good. So VentOS is designed to be part of a modular ecosystem of components, which allows teams to pick and choose what works for them and replace and upgrade ones that don't. With the long-term goal of VentOS is to develop an FDA approvable open source ventilator firmware that could be used in various uh, ventilator hardware platforms. So one difference in this project is that we're not making a ventilator, but rather just the complex software and control systems along with all the testing and documentation that's required to go uh, with that. Um, the current progress is that we have developed an in silico demo and which I'll show you briefly and recently started a study to co-design a UI based on feedback from healthcare professionals uh, and incorporating maybe modern features like um, remote um, communications and things like that that people have found with COVID. Um, we're working with Polyvent and components developed by Public Invention, uh, such as the PERDS and PERCS communication protocols, VentMon, and cloud-based UI vent display. So this is an architecture overview, just to briefly outline the main components and how we've developed this so we can break this into multiple teams. So here we have um, the main core, which is where most of the work has been, uh, and the UI that I briefly mentioned that's in, sort of um, been started recently in earnest. And then between all of them, we have all these APIs, which then allows you to take each component out and replace it as you like. The idea of VentOS is that it could be used with different air drives. So if you have a blower motor, valves, um, bellows, or, or whatever, um, you can um, have different drivers and use those. And the same with different um, setups of sensors which would then allow it to be um, quite robust in terms of like supply chain constraints and things like that, that we've been experiencing. This is a main uh, system architecture overview, which is quite technical, but um, essentially we just have a simple deterministic loop and then some uh, sort of, here's our API interfaces and we can have different drivers and then control various um, hardware. And then here we have our clinical interface and display, which is with our PERDs and, and PERCs. So you could replace this with um, essentially whatever you like or whatever suits the situation. Here's a sort of a higher level overview. Um, and we're gonna demonstrate this working in the next slide. VentOS is running on an ESP32 and communicating over a serial port to a Node.js server uh, and a browser-based UI is just is used for displaying and control. Um, we're currently using a browser because that allows for rapid development uh, and feedback and, and remote working, you know, um, but eventually that would have to be transferred to embedded um, display for real use. So we currently have a team of three UI and UX experts um, developing this, um, this new component. Hopefully you can hear this. Rendering a pressure and flow waveform, which is broken up into threads, and producing a display similar to what you might see on a mechanical ventilator. This is, in fact, running in a web page. VentOS is not running on a computer, but is running on a microcontroller. In this case, it's an ESP32, which is attached through the serial port on my desktop. Uh, so what you're seeing is the output of a tiny computer, a microcontroller. So I'm going to send those to the machine right now. It's got some simulated noise in there. That's why it's not exactly 35 um, centimeters of water. And the flow has changed as well to reach a tidal volume. Now I'm going to increase the um, tidal volume. And... Um, in doing that, the flow had to increase. Now we can change the um, 
exhalation to inhalation ratio to something closer to one, you can see here the pressure wave now has the same inhalation period where pressure is being applied to the exhalation period, which drops to the so-called peak pressure. And I can, for example, increase the respiratory rate, which will make it go faster, but will make each breath necessarily be shorter. You can see the so that was a display of um, the system working as it currently what stands. What you're seeing here is the vent display. And so here's a just a brief wireframe outline of the UI. That so the previous display was just an engineering sort of type display that's vent vent display uh, from public invention. But this is sort of the UI we'd hope to have, and this is based off what um, Dr. Schultz has has um, discussed and. We're currently looking at making this modular so each of these components could be customized depending on the clinician's um, priorities. So VentOS does aim to be FDA approvable, although this is more of a long-term goal. And we have you know, spent a lot of time and emphasis on documentation. Our next steps for VentOS is just to continue our development and implement more advanced control systems uh, and and of course the UI development, which we've um, we've just started. Another aspect is we are making a modular alarm, which is another common component for many different ventilators and other medical devices. So we're working on that as well with one volunteer. Well, what helpful has been really good for as a community uh, where we've recruited all of our volunteers, uh, very high level. And, and very skilled people, which is um, a really good community to be part of. And of course, giving us exposure by featuring us as a project. We would like to get some more volunteers uh, in C++ and JavaScript, and, and maybe if there's people who can help with marketing and, and things like that as well, we can always use them. If you're interested in our project, you can come to the Slack channel at Project VentOS and, and just drop in. And um, our meetings are open every week and anyone's welcome. Thank you.